name is Bethany Hamilton. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Kauai, Hawaii. I started surfing um, technically when I was in my mom's womb. So I mean, I've always just grew up at the beach, hanging out, surfing, and doing little fun contests, and yeah, I just loved it. <laughs> the 13, I finished second in the under 18 nationals, which is like the biggest competition for under 18 amateur surfing, and um, so that was a huge result. From that point, I was like, kind of like, okay, this girl means business. Like, I was like heading towards the pro tour. Like, I was gonna be a pro surfer. And then that next fall is when I lost my arm, and it was like, whoa. It was a gorgeous day in Hawaii, and I went surfing with my best friend Alana and her dad and brother, and um, the water was just perfect, glassy blue ocean, and the waves were kind of small, but. Just wanted to get wet and um, just hanging out there waiting for waves and all of a sudden a shark came from nowhere. I didn't see anything and just took my arm and like that and um, from that point I just focused on surviving and you know my friends were there by my side helping me get to the beach. Kind of crazy to see how that turn of event like has changed my life dramatically but at the same time I'm still a professional surfer today living the dream I've always wanted to and accomplishing more than I ever dreamed of. <laughs> A lot of the good surfers that I grew up surfing with and um, that were my age, um, some of them did choose to do drugs and for me it wasn't really a hard decision not to because I saw the negative effect it had on them. One particular girl who I really looked up to, she's an amazing surfer and she chose to get into this drug scene and she lost it. She just. I still see her every now and then and my heart just breaks just knowing that she was so talented. She was that one that like I wanted to surf like her and I saw her just um, lose that love and passion and um, natural ability. From what I've seen it's like I see people start with weed and you know, they almost become like a slave to it and you see them kind of lose their drive in life. Like they just kind of get stuck in a rut of like just smoking weed and just kind of living it day by day and spending all their money on that, wasting their money, wasting their life. And then they eventually get bored with weed and a lot of times end up dabbling with other drugs and then it just goes downhill from there and just so unappealing to me. all go through hard times in our life and you know it might not necessarily be losing your arm to a shark maybe it just struggles in school or family issues or whatever it is um, don't give up like just find your passions and your joys and things that motivate you and inspire you to live a full life and shoot for those and keep pushing forward towards the light at the end of the tunnel and rather than giving up I'm Bethany Hamilton and my natural highs are surfing, hanging with friends, family, um, my love for God, living a healthy lifestyle, and just smiling.